Appreciate y'all for rocking with me on this good, uh, what we on Thursday? Thursday Happy Thursday, Thursday, man. We got my boy, the alumni. Both of the alumni returns in. They brought, a, brought somebody else with them. I appreciate it. I've been listening to the project, man. Alumni return, big bash through coaches. But y'all got to let everybody know who y'all is on the second time around. All right, here we go, man. I'm Wavy Mark, Northern Wave Production. Kiara Trinane. Northern Wave. Hey, Shano. Uh, nah, man, like, we always, we talk about this all the time, man, Shannon, man, about this spiritual walk that we're doing with this and living these tracks out, living these words out. So, with Northern Wave Production, I mean, we're trying to bridge the informational gap with art and entertainment. So, we got to live. With who, entertainment? Track. Art and entertainment. Art and entertainment, yeah, so gotcha. We're trying to, you know, we're really trying to push a uh, agenda. We're trying to push a moment of uh, a movement to uh, be a service to the community. So, yeah, it's not going to stop until it's fulfilled for sure. Man, y'all doing something different. What's y'all thoughts on music just right now? Rap, hip hop, gospel, just blue. What's y'all thoughts on music? Because y'all coming with like a different sound. Yeah, right. I mean, it's heavily uh, influenced with soul. Uh, R&B, gospel, and hip hop. Yeah, um, heavy. So. Um, Shannon, yeah. Shannon sings gospel uh, full time on the road. Kiara is a really great soul singer, pop singer as well. And just bringing the hip hop element on my side, it just collabed, it's a gumbo of that, man. That's how we, we all mesh together, y'all. Yeah. It's more like, I feel like it's very intentional, very like mantra and like positive vibe. But y'all gotta talk about that, what was the influence behind it, what made you be the pen behind such a great song and what made you put your flavor on it? Oh man, well the song Pick Me Up is definitely about energy, about um, getting that energy from a significant other or just somebody that you care about um, when, you, when you need it, you know, uh, being that number one provider for that person. Uh, when, they, when you notice they need it, you know, stuff like that. So that's just pinning that. It really came from like, just, it was during the pandemic. I wrote it in the pandemic, we started recording it. We had a whole process. We recorded that song maybe like two, three songs, two, three times um, from two, 21, 22, and then finally got it right. But yeah, it started just the process of understanding energy and what type okay. of energy I wanted in that, in that time, in that moment. Yeah, it got, it's some good vocals on that song. Sounds like Dan, we go trying to tell him yeah, he's really with yeah. his engineer skills on that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, shout out Dan. Yeah, shout out Dan, man. Fun that song again. Yeah, out Dan, man. That's another thing about this project and about what we're doing is the collaboration, is the team atmosphere that we uh, kind of cultivated uh, with Dan, with Two Ill, uh, Nun, Entertainment, Chat, Rock, like all those guys, and just collabing with these uh, different artists. I'm not sure. saying it like we ain't heard it before, but like, how do you? Put the melodies and the production, I, like you were saying about the team earlier, but how do you come up with that? Yeah, that's DJ Wall B, man. <laughs> DJ Wall B, also a childhood friend. Grew up with him since middle school. Yeah. Everybody locked in, yeah. okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Shout out there. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. right. Okay. I've been at this for a minute. For a minute. So, like, it's like uh, from the beginning, like, understanding in our childhood, like, uh, who talent, who, who really had that talent. And these two definitely really had that talent. Oh, yeah. And then figuring out that DJ Walt B was making beats in 20, 20, in 2009, actually. That's when I really first uh, heard him. And then just keeping up with what he was doing. Then by the time- He, he from the North too, right? He from the North. Yeah, yeah. School yeah. together. Yeah. School together. Yeah. All that, yeah. All that How did y'all find each other the years later? Because we've been out of school a minute. That's what I'm telling you. That's, yeah. that's what I'm that's telling crazy. you. That's crazy. No that's, that's the- uh, that's me. Like I, I guess it's the it's the it's the, it's the, the passion that I have for art. Like the, the passion. Was y'all all doing the music in school back then? Or? Uh, we, 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 we were choir together. Choir, okay. We were choir together. Yeah. Okay. But low key, I didn't even know that he was rapping. No idea. He called mm. me up one day. I'm walking. I'm yeah. taking off with my kids. And yeah. It's like uh, Shannon put it on my mind to call you. Yeah. And uh, was talking about doing like some theater. Just talking about yeah. laying some tracks. And I was just like. Why me? Like, you know, I've really been singing. Right. People really don't know that I sing, you know, because I'm more like a massage therapist. I'm more like, you know, I do a little okay, bit of okay. Yeah, 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 I do pretty much everything that feels good. But like when he came and he was talking about singing, I'm like, let's go. That was just me. Tap back in to uh, your question of how we all stay connected. Just keeping up with uh, each other, like on social media, I would always see Kira like making Snapchats or okay. headed to this audition today, like warming up in the car. Saying, oh, you know, okay. Like, she was doing her thing in Dallas and school and whatnot. Oh, yeah. And then uh, we were just brainstorming one day. It was like, man, thinking about singers or whatever, or people we grew up with that we knew we could like just reach out to. I was like, oh, I care, bro. She's doing her thing. I always had a good voice. She got the vibe. She has that energy. Mm -hmm. There's energy that she has. That, uh, yeah. She doesn't meet a stranger, so 
Yeah, oh. she just go. So they bragging on you, man. That's yeah, 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 for sure. I need y'all to give the people some advice to the artists that's in the city that's coming up and want to do this music. What would y'all tell them? It don't matter who start. Ooh, man, I would say uh, just stay consistent or as consistent as you can. And that, that's I feel like that's the the main struggle. I know that's something I deal with. <coughs> so just stay consistent. <coughs> and, uh, it don't necessarily have to be perfect. <coughs> Sometimes you gotta let. You gotta let other people hear, put it in other people's ears, cause to you something may sound old or whatnot, but it's okay to, you know, <coughs> let somebody else hear it and give it to the world. Really? So, you really do gotta stay consistent, right? especially yeah. in this generation, in this world. But like what are some keys that you uh or some motivation that you use to keep being consistent? With me, I uh, I try to stay in it, <laughs> honestly. Okay. Even I like if that. I, even if it's not doing something for myself. Is doing something for somebody else. Like I, I sing background for a lot of different artists, and we we a church city, you know, on Christ on Christ's side of the rock we stand for sure. But uh, just tap. Don't do that little flex, man. Who's some of the artists that you the uh, no, no, no. uh sing, yeah, yeah sing don't do that. Stuff. Just doing a lot of background stuff. So right now I've been working with Toby the Wigway, doing mm, a lot of uh, background vocal studio stuff for him. Um, also did like an original joint with this uh, this band out here called Music Box. Okay. The original uh, joint as well wrote, penned it, and uh, they put music to it, and we just released it on iTunes. So just different different opportunities. Sure. You, know, you grow and you rub shoulders with other folks. So I just say stay true to you. I mean, truly, I feel like that's really my testament because I wasn't really out here trying to be like a solo artist. So I'm just out here doing my theater, doing my my choir thing, you know, doing. Um, I was doing like. Uh, studio artistry, um, a lot of musical theater, um, and then just people found me. Yeah, yeah. I would say like, make sure you surround yourself with the right people. Good yeah, company. Yeah, absolutely. Like, like, having good company. Yeah. You know, not just a plug it, but like for real, like actually having good something around you, whether it's family or friends. We feel, because earlier um, when we was listening to the tracks, um, it, it, it touched me because I was next to people that I literally know and I mm -hmm. care about, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's a different feeling. What made you get emotional? It made me get emotional because I knew I was next to Kiera, somebody I grew up with, mm. and somebody I know who's really talented that could do this shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then with me putting a foot forward, it's kind of, I know it's, it could be a way to inspire her more to continue to work, inspire him more to continue no, to work. Sure. It's like, it's just- Inspire you. Inspire yeah. you. Inspire you. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's just, it's just the, uh, the impact, the impact. I was I was impacted, like just being here with you, Cole, like seeing her with yeah. challenges, and then playing the music mm -hmm. because we so, like as creators, that's another thing you get so stuck in your process. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't know yeah. what other people think about like you. Say, just that. You yeah. get so stuck in it. And like you you building up all this mess in your head when it's really people that really care. And yeah. that's what hit me too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's what yeah. it was. But I think it's literally about having the right people around you as well. Okay. I feel like maybe it's definitely what keeps us what keeps us keep oh, going. For sure, for sure. Super passionate. Yeah. Oh, you the bridge, you the glue. Oh, the the puzzle sure. the, okay. Yeah. You do the yeah. art. He do, he do, he do He's passionate. Song ideas. Song ideas. Yeah. Treatments. Treatments. Yeah. Yeah. Treatments. Everything. All that. One man. One man. Uh, more passionate. Like real passionate, man. Uh, the project. Give it. Give it. BTS. BTS Volume One. Yeah. Um, will be coming out. Announcing it September. September. Uh, should be coming out in September. Distributed by United Masters. Um, some Northern Way Oh, you doing a big, okay. Yeah, uh, <laughs> so um, right now, like, this is the, the run, the rollout run that we on, just uh, connected with uh, different platforms. But Below the Sky is a, uh, it's an emotional, transparent uh, album, or uh, EP, should I say, EP. Um, it's really gonna give everybody a good look of this whole process that, I, that we, the spiritual walk that we've been on, this discovering who we are, or just going through certain things. What's the spiritual thing, spiritual walk y'all keep talking about? So this is, yeah. what's going on? Talk to me. No, it's for me, it's for me. When I say it, it's for me. Okay, what's so going on? When I say spiritual walk, for me, I know these lyrics not just coming from me. It's coming from God. Yeah. It's coming from somewhere higher. Mm -hmm. you know, so with me, it's helping me discover more about myself and my more more relationship with Him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Also, with my twin brother, we talk about the relation, having a relationship. Hey, twin. Yeah, hey, twin. Hey, twin. Man, that whole yeah. man, that tone, that's so hey, goddamn. Twin. What's that about? That was you paying homage to your brother? Or? Yeah, I was so. Oh, hey, twin was. I'm glad you said that. Hey, twin was paying homage to him, paying homage to like Herman. To uh, uh, Herman, uh, Herman, uh, uh, Herman. These, these just names from high school, my people I grew up with. I heard of that name. Uh, Herman Mitchell. Herman. The guy that died from Mitchell. Yeah, okay. Herman Gibson. I know 
all the other clique that was out. You know, everybody like. See, we all, bro. You why you go out there? Okay. That's where we come from. That's what. That's what. Okay. That's what helped me build this, build that song. A twin, cause we, yeah. a, cause we played football. Me and my brother played mm. football. We were always at a twin or twin yeah. or whatever the case may be. So I just wanted to put that on the first track to let people know where we from. Mm. That's why, that's why I made it like that. And where y'all from? From Northside. Northside. Yeah. Northside. Yeah. Northside. Yeah. yeah. So it was, it was all about understanding. It was all about understanding the homage that I'm paying. To, uh, to to everybody, to, man, to the north side. Like, where your family from? Where that you, way. Where yeah. you from? Yeah. 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 To the north side. Yeah, I'm from Greens Point. Fifth yeah. Ward, yeah. I hate yeah. the north yeah. side. We yeah. all in there, man. Man, that's Yeah, we really north side, man. Y'all north side through and through, man. Because everybody repping now, but it's like, no. And then we came up in that era, too, with we real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I kind of want to bring that. I really want to bring that back too. Yeah. Like, what, what you mean? Friendly, man. Just repping yeah. where you're from. Just saying it out loud. Yeah. yeah. Cause now I feel like Houston, and it's nothing wrong with Unity. I know it sounds bad, but I feel yeah. like it's one band, one sound. But I miss where how Snow represent for the North no. and yeah, yeah, yeah. Kiki yeah. represent for way. It yeah, just was yeah. a. I don't know. Just yeah, forget me, you know. I, I get them. I have to listen to it over and over. Oh, Is it a special one that was dear to you? Man, when I was when I wrote Balance and sent it to Gear. Okay. Uh, balance. When we all hear balance. Uh, Did I hear balance? Yeah, balance is the one. She was singing. Uh, oh, when you were singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a good one. Yeah. So when you hear balance, because balance and it goes into psycho, but balance is the track. But um, that's that's the track that like put the stamp on this below the sky. This is everything that I felt like from 2020 to 2024. Like everything mm. I feel like I'm trying to find my balance. I'm trying to find his faith. I'm trying to find the best version of me. I don't want to go crazy because we go through so much and all this type of stuff. I mm. don't do that a lot. I don't want to mm. go crazy no more. So, like that was the that's the track uh, that really really put the stamp on. Like yeah, this below the sky. Man, man with below the sky, just with the music you done put out, the videos and everything. Do you think you focus too much on? The words play and the art instead of just dropping the music. Hmm. That's a great question. That's, That's a really good question. question. Cause you real, pa yeah. All y'all ass passionate, yeah. but you will send me some shit as a story. Hey, what cool, What you think? And like you, like you really into it. But I do think that come from our generation, just how we was raised up. But like, where does that come from? Man, um, it's intention. It's really intention. You give a fuck when now you can have like a sexy red. I love you, sexy red. But like you can have these people that just can put out ABC and kind of not get on, but they become these stars. I think it go back to what you said, how we how we came up. When okay. We set, when we set with one track from our favorite artists for like two, three months. Albums lasted two. Yeah. Yeah. You bought an album based on yeah. one or two songs. For real. Yeah. Man. You know the Going lyrics. through. Yeah. Know the lyrics. Yeah. Printing out lyrics. Stop. 